Hello everybody and welcome back to Fugit Splits and yes it's me, just me, I'm back. It's still Ace of the Week Gallery for the fourth week of March, but this time it's TRX and yeah I'm playing catch up. Anyway, first out the traps we've got true story of the clan CSVK. Rolling out in the IS-7, the Russian tier X heavy on the EU server. Now a lot of people knock the IS-7, but you know what? It's a fantastic tank, guys. It's a true heavy, and if you stick it all down, you will bounce almost everything every day of the week and twice on Sundays. However, it's not the IS-4, <laughs> which I prefer. I actually prefer the IS-4 to the IS-7. Why? Uh, well, it's just me, I guess. Um, I do like the IS-7, though. It's a tricky tank, but look at that. I mean, boom, gone. Bye-bye, IS-4 my favorite tank. I feel all giddy and upset. No, I'm joking. Now he's going to take out the IS-7. No, he's not. He's going to bounce. The thing about these heavies at tier 10 is that, guys, it's a different type of game at tier 10. You, you've really got to know your tank. And as you can see there, I mean, that IS-7 is bouncing everything coming its way almost from the other IS-7. And he finally gets the kill. So, one kill, but that was the uh, IS-4, and his teammate got the other kill. But, true story, gets kill number two. Goodbye, Waffle Tractor. And the thing about the IS-7 is, it does have a good gun, but it's got a Russian gunner, which means it can go anywhere. It really, anywhere. I mean, vodka-induced daisies come to mind. If your gunner is an half cut on vodka, then it's a great gun. It's got good armor. It, you know, you stick it in the right position and you will bounce a lot of stuff. Thing about it, okay. If you stick it in the wrong position, if you don't angle it correctly, if you get your angles wrong on that pike nose, if you stick it all up rather than all down, then yeah, you're gonna be punished. It's just the way it is. Look at that, I mean, you will bounce. He's, already, he's bounced over a thousand. In fact, he's bounced almost as much as he's dished out. The ST1 there, that's oh, a great tank, don't get me wrong. I love that tank, but he's in a world of pain. I mean, that's another tank that needs to go haul down realistically, or you do that. Kill number three. As I was saying, I mean, the IS-7 is not liked by everybody. I mean, this is one of the first tier 10s I had, and I did love it, and I, I still enjoy this tank, but... I prefer the IS-4, it's, it's, that's just my personal preference. But in the right hands, like all tanks in the games of Blitz, in the right hands, this is a mean machine. Ooh, hello, Fosh. I'm gonna stick, I mean, look at that. He bounces the Fosh, the gunner is sobered up enough to aim against that optic and put a load of damage into the Fosh, which is a pretty formidable tank. I mean, that's got some good armor frontally, side on now, ever though, I mean, it's a nightmare. Kill number four. Oh, where are you running to? Let's take another bounce. Now we've bounced over 2,100. Uh, we're still looking healthy. I mean, True Story's got quite a few hit points left. He's not really in a world of pain. It's two against two. True Story and his teammate. Okay, so the AMX is still very healthy, however, but it's not a problem. I mean, two ISs against an AMX. It's going to be all... Oh, Bad news for the AMX eventually. I mean, he's going to be on a long reload. Now it's one against two, but he's on that long reload. He's got his auto loader. True story is not going to have much of a problem taking him out. Oh, he's reloaded. Oh, come on. Boom him. Oh, he's not reloaded. He's taking it from the rear. <laughs> oh, dear. Shafted from behind. That's just rude, Leo. Go, go away, Leo. Get out of here. Go back to the garage. How dare you? Try to violate me from the back. It's not on. Oh, come on, AMX. Stop playing the run around. I know you've reloaded, but you're a one shot every day of the week. If you load HE, he's gone. He's not going to load HE. He's going to keep AP in. Why not? It's paper thin anyway. Just wait for it to load. Both one shots. It's who's going to blink first. Come on. Who's going to blink? One of you's going to blink. One of you. Now we know he gets the mastery. But he can still get a mastery and die. I mean, that happens. I've seen it. You've seen it. I've put the replays on there. And you've probably done it yourself. I know I have. But come on. Somebody's got to blink. 
Somebody has got to blink. I mean, I don't know why the AMS just doesn't run away. They're winning on cap points. But that's the way it goes. He wants the kill. He feels he can deserve the kill. He can get the kill in. The IS-7 has done the right thing. He's putting the front to the tank. That's the most heavily armoured part of the IS-7. Uh, his cap points are really whittling down. Oh, the AMX is gone to take the A cap. What's the IS going to do now? Is he going to go up and take him from behind? Is he going to violate the AMX like he was violated earlier by the Leo? Let's see. Come on. Boom, doom, doom. Oh, look at that. Hello. Goodbye. <laughs> what a game. What a game. Nail biter to the end. Well played indeed. That's a really great mastery. And well played by True Story of the clan CSVK. Really deserve that mastery. And a tricky tank to ace, to be fair. Steel wall and a shed load of other medals, including a Paul's medal. Nice. Next up, we got Kill Warrior Destroyer of the clan Albus C. He's rolling out in one of my favourite tanks on tier 10. This is the 121B Invincible, because he's got funky dunky armour. It's the Chinese tier 10 medium, which is a premium tank, and again, it's on the EU server. Now, I do like this tank. It, it's a really nice tank. It's got a good turn of speed, it's got a fantastic gun, and it's got pretty, pretty good hull, uh, turret armour. Okay, hull, bit paper thin. Look at it, I mean, it's basically an Object 140 T62A, which means it's a hull down tank. You've got to keep that turret, you know, open and keep the hull down. But look at this gun. I mean, this gun is fantastic. I do love this gun. Okay, that missed. <laughs> Fujit, what do you know? You know, bugger all. You're a noob in the game and you're a noob on YouTube. Or is it knob? Noob? Knob? I have no idea. It's a game where I'm pronouncing things that are unique to Blitz. Maybe this time. Maybe this time. Yes, come on. Get a pen eventually. But now you're spotted. People can see you. Kill Warrior Destroyer. I mean, what a fantastic name. Kill Warrior Destroyer. All he needs now is to get death in there somewhere. Kill Warrior Destroyer of death. Maybe. Anyway, I digress. The 121B. I mean, it's a premium tank. And if, you, if you're lucky enough to have it, it is a really cool, cool tank. And if you play it like this, boy, you have a lot of fun. Kill number one, he's already dished out just shy of a thousand damage, and he's just gonna sit here and farm away. And why not? I mean, I would. I mean, look at this, Leo PTA, come on. I can just stick things into your turret, your paper thin, you shouldn't be anywhere near the front line, you should be sniping. Oh, hello, IS-7. Let's stick one into you now, but I'm gonna have to change it to the Pramo to make sure that I actually pen you, because you are pretty tough. Oh, how dare you shoot at me? But I bounced because you hit my turret. But how dare you shoot at me? Nope, IS-7 is gone. Bye. <laughs> what was he shooting? <laughs> what was that? Was the rock annoying you? Did the rock offend you in some way? Hello, object. Well, that's a really difficult tank as well. You need to get rid of him. Oh, hello. T-29, maybe? Yes? No? Shoot. Oh, look at the Leo. That's a bit cheeky, isn't it? Oh, it, it, grass is annoying me now. So, kill Warrior Destroyer of Death. Kills the grass, and he's going to kill the Leo. Come on, kill the Leo, kill the Leo, kill the Leo, kill the Leo. Kill him. Shoot him. Boom. <laughs> he didn't get it, his mate did. That's tuning for you. I will kill Steel. Keep swapping the ammo around. Come on, kill the AMX. He's on a long reload. You know he is. He's going home to the garage. No, he's not. <laughs> he's still a one shot. Now he's dead. And kill Warrior Destroyer of Death. Get him. And he kills the T29. Sorry, T32. My bad. My, my, my bad. Oh, a low object. I love the object. It's very OP. But I think he's going to struggle against the, t the, the 1 2 1 B and his two mate. Oh, no. Bounce. Get up front, close, personal. Come on, stick him in the side. Kill him. Yes, he's gone. Four kills. Wow. 4,300 damage. That was quite a bit. What a fantastic game. And a wow deserved mastery for Kill Warrior Destroyer of Alba C. Who I'd like to thank for sharing his replay. Next, really good friend of mine. Clan Colonel X of the Clan Chop 2. 
rolling out in the WZ113G FT, the Chinese Tier X TD here on the EU server, which is basically, well, it's a box with a gun. And it is a box with a gun. I mean, this thing is colossally big. It hasn't got the low profile of the Object 268, but it has got a good gun. The armor's okay. And the reload's not too bad at 13 odd seconds. But look at that. Ammo rack! Oh my life! That IS-7 is like they're going, really? Really? Are you really, really killing me with an ammo rack? One shot? Yes, because I'm in a WZ, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> LOT 57 heavy. Come on, can I ammo rack you? No, but I can knock you for a shed load of HP, which is what I wanted to do, because I'm in a WZ 113, blah, 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 blah. Oh, God, these names just kill me, but it's good fun. So, Clan Colonel X, who's already done just shy of 3,000 damage, and he's only shot, what, two shells. I mean, that's what you want. Oh, T57 heavy is gone. But look, there's another IS. This time in IS-8, let's stick a massive one into your front. And why not? I'm a WZ, bloody bloody blah, blah. And I'm a TD, and I'm Chinese, and I've got a good gun, and I can give hurt in pain. I mean, this is a great position that Clan Colonel X is in. Oh, look at that D-54. You just take 400 into the side. If you show your side to me, it's going to happen. And there's a good bounce. Bounce is 400 from the IS-8. They're in a good position here. I mean, Clan Colonel X is in a great position, to be fair. If they want to keep popping out like they are, then he's just going to have really good fun. But he's decided that they're not going to keep popping, so maybe I can get around the back of this JP-100. And, oh, get one shot into him, but then he decides to move forward. It's a little bit of pain. Keep bouncing the IS-8. Come on, IS-8. You know, you, you know you're not going to have fun. You need to load Pramo to get me, really. And there's the JPE-100. Oh, and there's a Waffle Tractor. Who's he going to go for? He's going to go for the Waffle Tractor. He's loaded his HE. He's locked and loaded, ready to roll. Stick it in. Go on. Boom. 738. <laughs> what a roll. And that was not a fair trade from the Waffle Tractor. You only hit him for 500. Look at the reload on this thing. I mean, it, don't forget, it's a top TD. It's not bad. He's going to go. He's got to kill him. He is gone. He's gone. It's gone. The Waffle Tractor's out of there. Two kills. <laughs> 5,800 damage. I mean, wow. That's it. It's game over. Wow. What a fantastic game that was. And a wow deserved mastery for Clan Colonel X. Five odd thousand damage. Brilliant. Next up. Really good friend of mine, Chief Cody of the Clan 2 UK. He's now rolling out in the WZ121, not the 121B. This is the tier, t t the tech tree version. And it's a really good tank. It's, obviously, it's a Chinese tier X. It's a bit similar to the 121B. In fact, it's very, very similar. You know, it's good hull down. It's got not particularly great armor at the, on the hull. But it's got a good gun, it's got a really decent reload, and in the right hands, it is a pain in the backside like the 121B. And the playstyle is very similar to the 121B. Big difference being this is not premium. Obviously, it's tech tree. Oh, I mean, look at this. Hello, mouse. Oh, what a bounce. Do you see that? Boom, bang, boom. That went somewhere. I mean, if I was Dr. Brian Cox, that would say that was a shot of infinitesimal chances of penning. But there we go. He's still giving the mouse a hard time. That mouse is about to disappear, maybe. Can he kill him? Kill the mouse? No, I'll track him. <laughs> track the mouse. No, you want to kill the mouse. Come on, Cody, pull your finger out. You need to carry better. There you go. Mouse has finally gone. And Cody has not even scratched his paintwork yet. I do like the 121. I love the 121B. And I like the 121. Both tanks, in my opinion, are really, really good tanks. Hello. Goodbye, maybe. Go on, stick in the... Oh, no, he's going to let his teammates deal with that. And they do. There's a Leo. Hello, Leo. Look at the gun. Look at the gun on this. It's like precision. It's a fantastic gun. And, you know, if you, if you can play it like this, guys, boy, you are a really, really 
big pain in the posterior. Because it's similar to the Object 114, it's similar to the T. I mean, look at that. He takes a massive, massive bounce there, yet he manages to pen the other WZ. Oh, there's a Death Star. Don't know why it's called a Death Star. It's not round and it's not grey. I mean, it's just a big box with a that dishes out some pain. But the JP100 dishes out pain. The Object 268 dishes out pain. Don't understand why it's a Death Star. Maybe you can put that on a postcard to me as well to explain to me why we call it the Death Star. It's neither round, grey, doesn't have a big sort of bulbous hole in the front that... Anyway, it doesn't matter. It can do a one-shot, but so can a lot of tanks. I think it shouldn't be called a Death Star. Anyway, Cody is still looking pretty good here. His team is looking good here. He hasn't lost any hit points yet. Hello, Waffle Tractor. Stick a big roll into you on my HE. Don't forget, the 121 is not dishing out shed loads of damage. It's a, it's a medium, guys. You know, it's got a fantastic gun and a fantastic reload. Okay, he's dropped the adrenaline, which makes the reload a little bit faster. But basically, you know, the, the idea of this tank is you dish out a lot of damage because you've got a really good reload. Oh, another bounce. Goodbye, Leo. Kill number three. I mean, this is fantastic. 4,200 damage so far. Three kills, two against, well, four now. And, oh, look at this. Hello. This is a formidable tank. Can I take you out? Oh, we're having a tug of war. Oh, oh, oh I, come on, STB. S, that's the ST1, sorry. Not STB, idiot. Uh, he's got to go. He's got to go. Yes, he has. Kill number four for Mr. Cody. 6,000, oh, sorry, 5,131 damage. Just the Death Star left. Not really a Death Star, it's more like a Star Destroyer, isn't it? Let's be honest here, guys. It looks like a Star Destroyer. Yes, I'm going to start calling it a Star Destroyer, not a Death Star. Because a Death Star will not be easily killed. This thing will be. It's more of a Star Destroyer. Yes. Come on, Cody. Get kill number five. Oh, no! Kill steal! No! What a fantastic game. 6,395 damage. A well-deserved mastery in a fantastic little tank. And I'd like to thank Chief Cody of um, 2UK for kindly sharing his replay. In fact, I'd like to thank uh, True Story of CSVK, Kill Warrior Destroyer of Albacy, and Clan Colonel X of Chop2 for all supplying their replays. That's it, that's me done, that's it. I'm catching up on my backlog, yes! My work is almost completed for March, even though it's now May. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sure you agree with me. All the replays deserve their masteries. Please, if you haven't already, press subscribe. Why not? It doesn't cost you anything. It really doesn't. Puts a smile on my face. Makes me look like I know what I'm talking about and what I'm doing. By all means, comment and like below. You know you want to. Like, not dislike, by the way. Forget the dislike thing. It's not good fun. And if you haven't already and you've got anything, please send me your replays. Usual address, fujitsblitz at gmail.com. And until the next time, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking. Because you know what? That's what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.